hello guys welcome to this video now in this video i'm going to show you how you can be able to um import this template okay so this is um, a template which is going for just ten dollars now after downloading after buying it purchasing it um this is what you're supposed to get okay so this beautiful um you know website over here is all what you're supposed to get so um if you want this template now all what you have to do is um you have to import it on your web um, on your domain or on your website okay so so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you how you can be able to um, do that so when you download um you know this template you are supposed to get um these two things over here so um, i've already downloaded it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you how you can be able to what um, import the template on your website so this is a new website um, we can go and then even check the um, the website out there is nothing on it this is how it looks like there's nothing on it so I'm going to show you how you can be able to um, you know import um, it so at the back end okay make sure that you have WordPress installed so at the back end over here go to plugins over here go to um, add new and then make sure that you add um, Elementor. Okay, so search for Elementor. Okay, so now that you have Elementor, make sure that you click on it to what to install. So click on install now to install Elementor, and then click on activate to activate it. Okay, very good. So Elementor will take you through some welcome, you know, setup thing. If you don't have an account in Elementor, they will tell you to create an account. But I'm going to dismiss this one because it's not really needed for me. And um, I'll be back. So as you can see, I have Elementor what installed. Okay. Now the next one is I have to what install a theme. Okay. So a theme. So as you can see, um, this is a theme that is running over here. So if you go to their website, it tells you to install what um, install. Um, you know a plugin and then also install what a theme so this a theme is what um okay store okay so um you know copy it and then come to your dashboard and then go to um appearance over here and hover on themes over here okay so click on um add new over here and then search for the the theme that you want to install so this is a theme that we want to uh, install okay so just click on it and then click on activate to activate it, the theme so very good so we have the theme um, installed and activated okay so it will tell you to what uh, it recommends some kind of plugins for you okay so you can click over here to click on begin installing these plugins okay so these are the plugins that you have to install now click on this tick over here and I click on bulk actions and then click on install and then click on apply to install okay very good so now that it is installed and activated we can um, it is installed okay it's not activated we can go over here and then still the same way click over here and then click on bulk actions and then click on activate to activate all the team and then click on what apply now to um, apply activating all the themes that you have already installed so now that we have um, this one done now if you go to our website and then we refresh it we're gonna get something like this okay so let me yeah so we're gonna get something like this okay so this is what we're gonna get this um, basically nothing on it okay so now I'm gonna show you how you can be able to make your website looks like this over here this beautiful thing over here okay so now that we have these two teams elementor and then um, the theme and its plugins installed now hover on elementor over here go to settings of elementor and then go to experiment click on experiment on this tab over here now scroll down and then on the um, where we call the um, where is it on the stable features over here okay this one is a stable features okay under it we have import export template okay so just click on the default and then click on activate okay now click on save changes okay very good so now that we have that one done um the next step is to hover on tools over here under elementor 
there are tools over here so hover on it and um, click on it sorry and then you see that the import export tab is what is over here so just click on it okay now what we're going to do is we want to um, import um, the template that we downloaded okay so import a template kit so just click on start import and then select the file and then um, locate where you downloaded your um, you know template okay so um, I'm gonna look for um, the template okay ecom over here now I'm gonna um, you know this one is what I'm gonna upload okay or import okay so I'm, I'll click on this one now you have two things in it so just click on this one okay and then click on what open now open okay so you are going to get all these ones all these plugins will install on it for you so as you can see over here elementor is installed the team base toolkit is done woocommerce is also installed so we can click on what next and then just click on import so hold on for a while it will um, you know activate all the plugins install and activate all the plugins needed for the website to what um, to function for you and then the import will be what will be complete so just hold on for a while okay very good so if you see this one okay it says what first enable unfiltered file uploads so just click on what enable okay guys so as you can see over here your website is what is now what live okay so we can just um, close it or we can decide to what click to what see it live now let me close it over here and then i'll come over here to refresh this one over here now let's see what happens yes very good so this is what happens okay now everything is what is perfectly done but first as you can see the colors and everything is one is not done okay because we haven't what um imported one other template okay so what we're going to do is um come back to the dashboard now hover on appearance over here and then click on customize okay guys so if you click on customize just scroll down you're going to see this one export import over here okay just click on it over here and then what we are going to do is we are not exporting we are just importing okay so click to choose file and then we're going to select this one which is what kitek ecom but it is what dot dat file so the dat file is what we want just open it and then click on what import so this will what import all the customizer settings for you so that you're going to have everything what everything as it is so as you can see over here we have all the customizer settings everything done for us so if you go back over here and then we refresh the website over here we're going to have something like this okay so which is what completely done but as you can see um these ones are all what, all the pages that is what that is on the on the website so the next step is for you to what to create your menu and then um you are good to go so how do you create the menu now let's come back over here and then um we are going to um you know go to back over here and then we're going to click back over here and then we're going to go back to our dashboard and then and the appearance over here we hover on it we're going to see menus over here okay so this is the menu now as you can see we have what we have this one as our what our footer menu okay but we want the what the header menu or which is the main menu or the primary menu so which one that you want to use okay so let's say we want to use the primary menu okay so with the primary menu we're going to set this one to what to the primary menu okay or um, up when you select the primary menu first you need to what um, click on select yeah let's click on leave because we want to select the primary menu now this is the primary menu as you can see there is nothing over here so it means that we let's go to the main menu over here and then click on what select and see what is there okay very good so as you can see we have what we have all these um you know categories not even done okay now if you go over here okay that's how it looks like so we have the home the shop the blog cart um you know my account others downloads contact okay now let's look at this one also it says what home shop um categories blog my account 
and then contact us okay so what are we going to do now first of all i'm going to remove this ones over here so i'm going to remove it i'm going to remove this one i'm also going to remove this one i'm going to remove this one and then i'm going to remove this one so i'm going to have this one done over here now i'm going to set this one to the primary location and i'm going to what click on save okay very good so now that i have this one saved over here now let me go to here and then click on what refresh so as you can see i have what everything what as i want okay so that is how i want everything so as you can see everything is now what perfectly done so that is how you can be able to what um you know import all the um the settings and everything of the what of the website okay so um i hope this tutorial will be able to help you to be able to what um you know download and import the templates as you need thank you for watching and see you in the next bye bye